kvällen fortsätter nu i filmens tecken, i varje fall fram till nyheterna. Vi ska få träffa en av huvudrollsinnehavarna i en film som förutspås bli sommarens stora kärleksfilm. Det är Hans Wiklund som intervjuar Julia Roberts med anledning av filmen Notting Hill i Filmextra. Rude is for amateurs. What? That's what I can't be, huh? Yeah, senare. Price to pay. Oh, no. Tyst, not talk me. Camera, varsågod och börja. I bioaktuella Notting Hill spelar Hugh Grant en helt vanlig kille som plötsligt en dag träffar superfilmstjärnan Anne Scott, spelad av Julia Roberts. Um, can I help you too? No thanks, I'll just look around. Fine. Spelar och spelar förresten, det är Julia Roberts. Uh, you'd be wasting your money. But if it's turkey you're interested in, um, this one, on the other hand, is very good. Um, I think the man who wrote it has actually been to Turkey, which helps. Um, there's also a very amusing incident with a kebab, um, which is one of many amusing incidents. Thanks, I'll think about it. Obviously, people's gonna mistake uh, um, your character for, for you. I don't think so. I think so. Okay, well, we'll agree <laughs> to disagree. Anna Scott, Anna Scott, Anna Scott. Hello, Anna. Scott. Um, no, it never really occurred to me that people would think she is me. And I suppose because I can see the differences so clearly. And it's not something that ever really crossed my mind until, you know, the 67th person asked me if I was worried <laughs> about that, you know? But it never, it really never did occur to me. Oh, shit, it's you. it's my sister's birthday. Shit, we're meant to be having dinner. Okay, that's fine. No, I'm sure I can get out of it. No, I mean, if it's fine with you, I'll be your date. You, you'll be my date to my little sister's birthday party. If it's all right. But yeah, I'm sure it's all right. My friend Max is cooking and he is generally acknowledged to be the worst cook in the world, but, um, you know, you could hide the food in your handbag or something. Okay. Okay. Notting Hill är en sorts uppföljare på brittiska succén Fyra bröllop och en begravning. Det handlar åter om romantisk komedi om den stammande engelsmannen som träffar en amerikansk kvinna av värld. Den här gången den famösa filmstjärnan alltså. Tycke uppstår och allt går åt skogen. Would you say this is like a contemporary version of the classical tale with the princess and the, the common guy? Um, it, there are elements to it that are rather Roman day, Roman holiday-ish. But, um, I mean, that's one of the all-time great fairy tale movies. Uh, and, and I think that it's fun when you take two different cultures and two different environments all together and sort of smash them together and see what happens. Um, right. Uh, yeah, what's the day is Um. <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said whoopsie daisies. No one says whoopsie daisies, do they? I mean, unless there is no unless, because no one has said whoopsie daisies for what 50 years, and even then it was um, it was just little girls with blonde ringlets. Exactly. Right. Could you ever date the guy that says you know, whoopsie daisy stuff like that? Uh, well, the whoopsie daisies, I'm not sure about, but as far as um, do I think it's possible for people of different occupations and environments to be together, I believe it is. Hi, guys. Oh, Jesus, fuck. They always do that when I leave the house. Does it feel awkward for you when, when you uh, meet people and they feel nervous and you know, strange about it? Uh, well, it makes me nervous. I get quite nervous when people are nervous and I wish that I were better at knowing how to put people at ease but I think it just it just takes a minute mm. you know for them to realize that it's all going to be okay. Mm. What do you do? I'm an actress. Oh, splendid. 
What do you do? Well, I'm actually in the stock market myself, so uh, not really similar fields. <laughs> Though um, um, I have done the old bit of amateur stuff. Um, uh, P.G. Woodhouse, uh, farce, all that, you know. Careful there, Vicar. <laughs> I always imagined it's a pretty tough job, though, acting. I mean, the wages are a scandal, aren't they? They can be. What sort of acting do you do? Films, mainly. Oh, splendid. Oh, well done. Does it happen that people kind of, you know, go the other way and pretend they don't know you or... Know Some people face? don't know me, <laughs> and it's not a Martian sin. Sorry. It's not a sin <laughs> not to know who I am. How's the pay in movies? Mm. I mean, last film you did, what do you get paid? Fifteen million dollars. Right. So that's fairly good. Well, I actually, I just met a girl a few weeks ago at a dinner party who didn't have a clue who I was. Mm. And everybody made her feel so bad about it. And quite frankly, I was so impressed that she didn't know who I was because I thought, well, this is a woman with a really interesting life. And she must read a lot of really great books and have a really interesting job that she doesn't spend time going to the movies and reading magazines and things of that nature. So I was quite fascinated by her. Bella, can you tell me where I can find that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's on the corridor on the right. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. Talk very, very quickly. What are you doing here with Anna Scott? Anna Scott? Yes, Scott. Oh, the film Oh, God. What? Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. What, what did you say? No. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I actually moved into the loom with her. I was still chatting when she started unbuttoning her jeans. She had to ask me to leave. Oh, God. Tomorrow, there'll be pictures of you in every newspaper in your goddamn underwear. Notting Hill är svår att motstå. Den är både söt och rolig. Hugh Grant levererar sin fumliga britt med pregnans och Julia Roberts är nästan lite väl trovärdig som divig filmstjärna. Perfekt romantik för sommaren. Betyget är fyra. Of him. Asking him to love her. You daft prick. Varsågod, Sötnos. <laughs> I'll say thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.